Oh, oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, that's such, that's such smooth jazz I hear. I'm vibing. Are you, you guys are vibing too, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a good stuff. It's a good stuff. I'm usually not a jazz fan, but yeah, you know, I gotta be today. You know, all-time Utah jazz team builder. That is just not my favorite kind of music. I'm sorry, okay? Let's just, uh, let's cut it off right there. Yeah, shout out to the Utah jazz. If you're a fan of the music, cool. I'm assuming most of you Utah jazz fans aren't anyways. It's just the name of the team anyways. Welcome back to another all-time team builder, the Utah jazz today. Five seconds on the shot. Four, three, floater. Got it! Darren Williams hits the floater and the Jazz lead by one. Does anybody try to be dumb? Mitchell all posterizes the big. Throwing it down on McGee. Uh -oh. Stockton, open three. Hit it! John Stockton sends the Utah Jazz to the end. And just another in a long line of horrible intros during this series for me, but the Utah Jazz are second last team in this series. I'm so excited. We've got a blank lineup as per usual, a really good lineup we're about to build. And uh, let's start with a big chunk, five players who represent the current crop of Utah Jazz. And a nice blend of starters and bench for our current Utah Jazz members led by Donovan Mitchell, the leader of the current team, Donovan Mitchell. Third in three pointers made, fifth in points per game in Jazz franchise history, a two-time All-Star averaged 26, 4, and 5 per game last season. What a stud. Jinglin' Joe Ingles starting small forward, fifth in assists in franchise history. I found that funny. First in three-pointers made, has played seven seasons with the Jazz, averaging 12 points a game. Off the bench, we've got Boyan Bogdanovich, just two seasons now with the Jazz, but averaging 19 points a game in that stretch, not bad. George Niang, well, he's just in the lineup because he's got a pink diamond card. Six points a game in uh, four seasons with Utah. Yeah, nothing too spectacular. And off the end of our bench, Rudy Gobert, very polarizing figure in the NBA. Unfortunately, I didn't get his triple threat reward uh, Dark Matter, so he doesn't have a good card at this point in the game. But Rudy, second in rebounds and blocks per game, a two-time All-Star, four-time All-NBA, five-time All-Defensive, and of course, three-time DPOY. Let's move back just a bit chronologically to the 2000s 2010s era of the team. One of the cards I forgot to buy prior to uh, starting recording of this video, his auction ends in 16 minutes. It's Andre Kirilenko. Oh, I'll buy him in 16. This is like the first time I've made this kind of mistake. Just forget to buy a card. Are there really no buy nows? No, there aren't. Gosh darn it. Okay, I gotta wait. But AK-47, third in blocks per game, a one-time all-star, three-time all-defensive. He led the league in blocks one year too for the Jazz, so he'll be in the lineup. Along with these two members right here, Darren Williams, again, from the 2000s era, second in assists per game, Jazz franchise history. D-Will was a two-time all-star, made two all-NBA teams, was all-rookie. In six seasons with the Jazz, averaged 17 points, nine assists, per game. He was one of my favorite players to watch back in the day when he was battling with Chris Paul, Rajon Rondo, Steve Nash for being the best point guard in the league. We've also got Gordon Perfect. Hayward in here, a Hornets version of the card, but Gordon fourth in three pointers made in franchise history. A one-time all-star average, 16 points a game in seven seasons. Let's dial the clock back again to the 1980s slash 90s, a really dominant stretch for the Jazz. They were never able to get over the top and win a chip, but some absolute just legends of the game, a historical NBA figure. Uh, including John Stockton, first in assists, steals, and games played in franchise history, 10-time All-Star, 11-time All-NBA. He led the league in assists nine times and, of course, is a Hall of Famer. I know we don't really mess with Karl Malone on a personal level for very good reasons. Uh, one of the greatest resumes in the NBA in history. First in points and rebounds, second in games played in Jazz history, a 14-time All-Star, 14-time All-NBA. He won two MVP awards and averaged 25 points, 10 rebounds per game, over 18 seasons. Like that's ridiculous. Obviously he's a Hall of Famer. Also in the starting lineup, Thurl Bailey, aka Thurl Lacumpo. Shout out to our boy HTB. Thurl was all rookie in 1984, averaged 14.6 rebounds per game with the Jazz. Mark Eaton off the bench. He won two Defensive Player of the Year awards, led the league in blocks four times. And that leaves us after we get AK-47 with one spot in our lineup, which goes to an OG. And that would be Pete Maravich. I, I had to include Pete because he does have a token reward, Dark Matter. Unfortunately, I can't get it, but Pete was like the first great player in Jazz franchise history. He won a scoring championship, was three-time All-NBA, three-time All-Star with the New Orleans slash Utah Jazz. So I wanted to get him in here. And I finally did purchase Andre Kirilenko officially. So let's go take a W with this all-time Utah Jazz team. Let's go. Oh. 
And I put on these, I think they're the Earn jerseys, green Utah Jazz jersey. I don't know, bro. I just, I just tossed them on. Opponent's team, ridiculously good. What, what else would you expect? Oh, great. And I just remembered my backcourt is John Stockton and Donovan Mitchell. So that's going to be just no fun at all. Fortunately, I'm always able to score, but defensively, I might need to end up playing uh, Andre Kirilenko at point guard some big minutes in this game. That is a horrible shot, though. Uh, and of course, you get the rebound. Yep, yep. My front line is pretty small with this team, too. I got Donovan Mitchell again wide open in the corner. A little bit of a slow jumper, but D. Mitch green out the gates. Two for two. We're going to get some double team action rolling here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I should have got that steal. That's off in the corner. All right, 2K. Just bless him with some whites. Sure. My only hope is that he misses some shots. I maybe get some bump steals. And of course, I keep scoring Carl Malone and one. This is crazy, though. This isn't even like I'm not even close to getting stops on watch. Just watching a po watch a possession for my opponent. Like it's one quick. Oh, of course. This do that? Of course, that time I actually should have gotten a stop. But 2K bails him with a 45 percenter. All right. Joe Ingles right to the rack. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, John Stockton wide open. Come on, bro. Come on, John. Why? Can what is going on? This is such an uncharacteristic game for me. Like not playing any type of defense at all. Not timing shots out here. Like this is a problem. That's good help though. Carl Malone and I got dunked on. All right. And I'm taking, I'm stepping out of bounds. I'm making mistakes. This is going to be a tough one for the Jazz. Technically we're within four, which is like, you know, close to striking distance. But if I don't get a run here to start the second, this game might be curtains. Look, look, this dude, he knows his team. He knows what he can do. He is just going to dunk on me every possession. And there isn't really anything I can do to stop him, especially if I can't freaking shoot in this game. Wow. I'm so sad. I'm so upset. No, I need third quarter J or someone to lock in here sooner. Second quarter J. Come on. Come on, man. We can do this. We can do this. We can get into rhythm offensively here, force one or two stops, and we'll be back in this game. There we go. Finally, bro, my first green in a while, AK-47. He was worth the wait to buy. Come on, no more empty possessions. No more empty possessions. Just smart shots. Uh, somebody's wide open. It's Boyan. Boyan, please. 2K, Jason. I don't know who to blame. Why can I not green right now? This is so bad. I'm losing this game myself. Nobody to blame but myself. That's a good stop right there. That's a good stop. Okay, now give me a made shot in the corner. AK, hold on. Jump. Yes. Yes. No, that's that's a two and I missed it. I haven't shot this bad. Guys, I haven't shot this bad in a game in literally like forever. I don't know if I ever have. All I need is one hot shooting streak and I might win this game for you all jazz fans. I want it, boy. I want it. Yes, D will. That's my boy in the corner. We're going on a run. I guarantee it. And did I promise you all a, a third quarter run? Did I promise you all I would get back in this game or what? Huge third quarter. I went nuts with John Stockton, just finally hitting, started hitting shots in general. And now look at me up seven. You just love to see it. Oh yeah, what a bait. I'm there, I'm there. And I'm hitting this with Boyan. I'm hitting it. I don't know what was up with me to start this game. I was intimidated by my opponent for some reason, but this is Jay Canada's turf, y'all. This I, I ain't scared no, but no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I knew I'd lock in eventually. I don't care how many six foot three point guards I got out here. I don't care. Really? You made me go to bounds? I was vibing there. Oh, this boy hopped into his zone thinking that was the move. Well, I'll tell you something right now. Even though I missed that shot, it is not. It's not the move. Okay, okay. We, we're winning this game. We might need the starters back in to close it out. Yeah, it's a two-point game now. That's not exactly what I wanted to see, but it's all good, bro. Just hold on. I'm so confident right now. AK, Perfect. finally. I've shot so bad with Kirilenko, but that was a good shot. Look at Donovan Mitchell wide open. Just kidding. Thurl. Thurl Lacumpo. Bro, Thurl is the one dude I just cannot get his shot timing down, but good patience finding a wide open look and we made it. Honestly, if I'm just patient against this dude, especially now that he's running this uh, sad zone. Yeah, this is this is how I was able to win this game. And yes, I'm counting this a W already because there's the timing for Thurl. Just needed another open look. I got it. Bro, I cannot just kill. I can do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can just not get rid of this dude. He's like a mosquito that I keep swatting at. Two points. Okay. I kind of like really need a basket here somehow. Oh, 
Oh my word, this is going to be a turnover. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, game winner, game sealer. Donovan Mitchell, I got ice in my veins. Whoever doubted me. Well, I did at the beginning of this video, but we good. That's a W. And that was indeed a super high scoring game. I end up winning by five in the first half. I actually did tie it before we got in the third quarter. And then that third quarter, I really flooded second quarter. Yeah, we ended up being really, really good, even though I did think I was taking an L at the beginning. And I just quit before I looked at the stats like an idiot, as if I haven't recorded 29 of these freaking videos already. My bad, bro. John Stockton carried us, though Donovan Mitchell was cool too. And more importantly, we moved to 27 and 7 on our all time team scoreboard with one team remaining, the Boston Celtics. That video should be out tomorrow. Oh my word, I can't believe we're at the end of the series. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, please drop a thumbs up down below. Definitely one of the more entertaining and more fun games, I think, in the series, in my opinion. If you agree, uh, let me know in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Also, brand new basketball cinema episode out today, the final in our Kobe Bryant series. So I highly suggest you go check it out with the link in the description. But that's all I got for this. Y'all, I'm Jay Canada. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.